Hey guys, this is Caleb with the Command Valley, bringing you another video in our Partner Primer series. In these videos, we give short introductions to the new Partner Commanders coming out in Commander Legends in place of doing a full deck tech. Thank you to GameGrid for sponsoring this video. If you want to check out their new and improved store and support our channel while doing so, check out the link in the description below. We have a list of the cards from this video in the description that you can copy and paste right into the deck builder and buy your singles there. If you want to support the channel directly, head on over to our Patreon at patreon.com slash commandvalley to sign up today. Today we are looking at the brand new commander, Malcolm Keen-Eyed Navigator from Commander Legends. Malcolm costs 2 and a blue to cast. He's a 2-2 legendary creature siren pirate with flying. He also says, whenever one or more pirates you control deal damage to your opponents, you create a treasure token for each opponent dealt damage. Note that you do not create a treasure for each pirate that deals damage to an opponent, but each opponent that is dealt damage by a pirate that you control. So, if you ping all of your opponents at the same time with a pirate, you'll create a treasure token for each opponent. But if you attack one opponent with three pirates, it's still only one treasure. Also, it does not have to be combat damage, which is actually really important. Lastly, he has partner, which lets you have two commanders as long as they both have partner. The first cards that you are definitely going to want to include in any deck with Malcolm as a commander are, obviously, pirates with evasion abilities such as flying, unblockable, menace, or even trample that are also cheap to cast. Warkite Marauder is actually one of my favorite cards of all time because I have had so much fun playing him in my cube and also when he was in standard. Like most of our evasive blue pirates, he has flying, which is exactly what we want, but he also says, whenever Warkite Marauder attacks, target creature defending player controls, loses all abilities, and has base power and toughness 0-1 until end of turn. This makes it much more likely that Warkite and your other pirates are going to be able to get through and deal their damage. There are a ton of blue flying pirates, such as Dreamcaller Siren, Siren Lookout, Siren Reaver, Siren Stormcaller, lots of sirens, Skyship Plunderer, Spectral Sailor, and Stormfleet Aerialist. There are also a bunch of older ones from Portal and Portal 2 such as Talus Airship, Talus Explorer, Talus Scout, and my personal favorite just because of the fantastically insane art, Cloud Pirates. All of these have updated typing and are indeed pirates if they didn't already have that type. We've also got unblockable pirates in the form of Daring Saboteur, Departed Deckhand, Slippery Scoundrel, that's as long as you have the city's blessing, and Talus Warrior. There are other evasive pirates in blue and in other colors that you can include, and I suggest using Magic's card database Gatherer to search for other pirates that you'll want to include in your Malcolm deck. Since we already have the goal of getting in and doing damage with our evasive creatures, Coastal Piracy and Reconnaissance Mission fit right into a deck with Malcolm as one of its commanders. Both of these enchantments say that whenever a creature you control deals combat damage to a player, you may draw a card. Coastal Piracy is also, of course, super flavorful, so be sure to include it in your deck. Another 4-drop enchantment that, in my opinion, is also a must-have in a Malcolm deck is Mechanized Production. You simply enchant a treasure token, then, at the beginning of each of your upkeeps, you create a token that's a copy of that treasure, but that's not all, it also says, then, if you control 8 or more artifacts with the same name as one another, you win the game. You are going to be making a lot of treasure tokens and will often just win the game if this card sticks around for a full turn cycle. Now let's go over some potential partners in other colors and briefly mention some of the possible strategies. I'm not going to spend a ton of time talking about most of the cards in this section because I personally think that there are two best choices of commanders to partner up with Malcolm. In white you can go with an all flyers theme with either Ishai Ojutai Dragon Speaker or Radiant Sarah Archangel from the new set as Malcolm's partner. In my opinion this sounds like a super fun deck but maybe not super competitive as Radiant costs an insane 7 mana. And Ishai doesn't really do a whole lot for our pirate strategy. But I do love me some Azorius Flyers. In black we've got a brand new commander, Keskit the Flesh Sculptor. I'm not sure how this guy is a human, but he and Malcolm together could make for an interesting Demir Artifacts deck. 
Silas Wren Seeker Adept is also another option for the Demir artifacts. For Simic, the best that I could come up with is partnering with Kodama of the East Tree, also coming out in Commander Legends, and using pirates to create extra ramp to get green fatties out faster, with Kodama being our first fatty, who can then provide us with some extra value each time another fatty ETBs. The problem with this is there are clearly better ways to build a Simic deck. But if you really want to play Malcolm in a Simic deck as a partner commander, I think that Kodama of the East Tree would be pretty good. The thing is, Malcolm loses a lot of value when we move away from a completely focused pirate themed deck. And as you know, the other two colors we get pirates in are red and black. Breach's Brazen Plunderer is the clear choice for an Is It Pirate deck with Malcolm. Breaches is coming out in the new set and he has Menace and also says, Whenever one or more pirates you control deal damage to your opponents, exile the top card of those opponents libraries. You may play those cards this turn and you may spend mana as though it were mana of any color to cast those spells. Breaches and Malcolm's abilities are clearly made for each other and by adding red to this deck it gives us a ton of more options for evasive pirates and Commander Legends is definitely going to have even more red and blue pirates from the looks of things, many of which have already been spoiled at the time of this recording. In red we get pirates with menace like Kari Zev and more unblockable pirates like Stormfleet Sprinter. Now that we are in Izzet we've got access to fair and powerful magic in the form of combos. Glinthorn Buccaneer is just begging to become Malcolm's first mate. However, since he doesn't have partner, you'll at the very least want him as your chase gun because he's almost guaranteed to kill two of your opponents and possibly a third on the same turn that you play him. Glinthorn Buccaneer is a Minotaur pirate that costs one and two red to cast. He's a 2-4 with haste and has two abilities. The first says whenever you discard a card, Glinthorn Buccaneer deals one damage to each opponent. With Malcolm out, that will generate a treasure for each opponent you deal the damage to. His second ability says, pay one and a red and discard a card to draw a card, and you can only activate this ability if Glinthorn Buccaneer is attacking. So, the line of play here is pretty simple. You play Glinthorn when Malcolm is out and you have access to at least five mana, three of which will have to be red. Swing at your opponent with the most life, then pay two and discard a card to activate his third ability, which triggers his second, dealing all of your opponents one damage, which triggers Malcolm giving you three treasure tokens. Sacrifice two of those tokens to activate Glinthorn's ability again since he's still attacking, and then again, and then again, until your first two opponents are dead. At this point, you may or may not have netted enough treasures to take out all three of your opponents with this ability, but if not, at least you've got the perfectly crafted hand to dead opponents and almost completely flogged the third opponent. Pretty fun, right? Glinthorn has even more potential with Quicksmith Genius or Curiosity. With Malcolm, Quicksmith, and Glinthorn out, simply get one artifact to ETB, and if you have more cards in your deck than your opponents have life points, well, then they're dead. With Curiosity enchanting Glinthorn, simply end the turn with eight or more cards in hand, discard to hand size, ping your opponents, draw from Curiosity, rinse and repeat until they're dead. The second combo that we have access to after breaking into Is It is Freed from the Real or Pemmin's Aura plus Lightning Rig Crew or Pirate Ship. With Malcolm on the field, all you have to do is enchant one of these two creatures with either of these two enchantments, activate the creature's ability to ping your opponents, create treasures, then sacrifice a treasure to untap them and do it again and again until once again all of your opponents are dead. After all, dead men tell no tales. The last card in Is It that I want to quickly mention is Storm the Vault. For two and a blue and a red, you get a legendary enchantment that says, whenever one or more creatures you control deal combat damage to a player, the main function of this potential deck, create a treasure token. Sweet. So we can basically double up on our treasure token generation, but wait, there's more. It also says at the beginning of your end step, if you control five or more artifacts, transform Storm the Vault. And it transforms into Vault of Catlican, which is a Tolarian Academy with another option to tap for any color. Now let me tell you, there is a reason Tolarian Academy is banned in EDH. Run this in your deck and find out why.
Breaches is an absolutely fantastic first mate for Malcolm's deck, however, were I to build a Malcolm deck, I would actually pair him with none other than Vile Smasher the Fierce. Vile Smasher costs 1, a black and a red to cast. He is a 2-3 Goblin Berserker with Partner. His ability says, whenever you cast your first spell each turn, Vile Smasher the Fierce deals damage equal to that spell's converted mana cost to an opponent chosen at random. Vile Smasher is a super fun commander, but even more than that, he allows us to play pirates the best possible way in a Grixis deck. Everything that we talked about from adding red to this deck also applies here as well. However, now we get to add so much more to our deck with black. Here are just a few cards that you can add that synergize particularly well with Malcolm and our strategy in general. First up is Kite Sail Freebooter, which costs one and a black for a flying one two that when he ETBs you target an opponent, they reveal their hand, you choose a non-creature, non-land card from their hand to exile until Kite Sail leaves play. One of the best parts about playing black in a combo deck is that you have a ton of good ways to tutor for your combo pieces. Forerunner of the Coalition is no exception to this as it ETBs and lets you search your library for a pirate card to then put on top of your library. Plus, your opponents all lose one life each time another pirate ETBs under your control. Play this and grab your Glinthorn Buccaneer, then easily blow down your opponents the very next turn. Pitiless Plunderer is known for his ability to enable infinite combos, and though he's not here for a specific combo, you'll definitely want to include him for his incredibly powerful ability. Last but not least, Revel in Riches is here as another alternate win condition. This enchantment creates a treasure token whenever a creature an opponent controls dies, and says, at the beginning of your upkeep, if you control 10 or more treasures, you win the game. So, play this card when you're sure to win with it, batten down the hatches to protect it for a turn cycle, and hornswoggle your way to victory. Well folks, that's it for this partner primer. I'm planning on taking Malcolm in the direction of Grixis to take advantage of all the great pirates, tutors, and other cards that it has to offer. Tell us in the comment section below how you would play Malcolm, if there's anything that we missed, or if you have any questions at all. Please like this video and subscribe to our channel if you haven't yet. Be sure to check out and sign up for our Patreon at patreon.com slash commandvalley to support us directly, view exclusive content, join our Discord, and receive tons of other sweet perks. Thanks again to GameGrid Lehigh for sponsoring our channel. You can click on the link to their website in the description to shop for all of your magic needs there, and you'll be supporting our channel as well. GameGrid is now shipping nationwide, so be sure to take advantage of that. Also, join us for our live streams every Tuesday at 7 p.m. Mountain Standard Time for some Brawl on Arena. Lastly, you can find us on Twitter at CommandValleyP1 and on Facebook by clinking the link below. Thanks everyone, stay safe out there.